Hello, today I'm going to show you some of the trickier aspects of building the happy hands. Just a quick word to start with about the glue pen that comes with the kit. Remember to unscrew the nozzle and take out the little safety cap inside which is there just to make sure that the glue doesn't leak. And then screw the nozzle back on and you're ready to go. Now some people find it easier to use the glue pen like this and just squidge it directly through the nozzle. Um, personally I like to put it all in a tray and then use a bamboo skewer to dip into the glue. I find that's easier to control but it's up to you. Okay so page five stage one um, gluing the cams together. It's always a good idea to do it dry without the glue to start with just so that you understand the construction before you commit to gluing it together. So the little peg lines the two cams up and the big pegs create the shaft. So it's going to go together like that and that all seems fine. Um, if any of the holes are too tight then just use the sandpaper in the kit to sand the pegs down a little bit. So I'll just dip the tip of the dowel in the glue, wipe any excess off with your fingers, dip the peg in the glue, wipe any excess off. Now you just need to try and line these up with your eyes just to make sure that they are reasonably parallel. Turn it round and make sure that they are in line with each other all the way around. I'm just going to use my little stick to wipe off the excess glue on the inside there and then just turn it round to adjust for straightness and make sure it's all parallel and then set it aside to let the glue dry. <laughs> so uh, page five stage three gluing the side onto the base just putting a line of glue along the edge there. A handy trick is to use the second side to help you square up the first just to make sure that that is good and straight and at a right angle. If you get the first side on straight it's easier to get everything else on straight afterwards and then put that aside to dry. Okay so I'm on the body uh, building here on page 7 stage 5 and here it is uh, as if I was building the model as a lady um, but in order to build the model as a man we simply put that front piece the other way around so it creates uh, a bit of a paunchy tummy there. Um, so we're ready now to put the shoulder pieces in. Uh, make sure you get these the right way around, look carefully at, at the diagram. Now it's important to ensure that these are nice and loose. Now that one's nice and loose, that one's a bit tight. So I'm going to use the sandpaper to sand that peg down and loosen the fit. So obviously you can only do this once those pegs are nice and glued dry in their place. There we go, that's much better and that twists nice and freely. Okay, building the head on page eight, it's important to make sure that the jaw piece is going to open and close nice and freely. If that's a bit tight, you can always sand down the back edge there that will create an easier hinge. So make sure that that is moving nicely before putting on the second side of hair onto his head. So I'll just glue that 
to complete that stage. still moving freely and we can put that on one side to dry and here's the version uh, for the model as uh, a woman and she's got a, a curvy chin and long hair and there she is all together moving nice and freely okay it's always a little bit tricky to glue small pegs into small holes um, accurately and neatly so on page 10 stage 9 we've got to glue this little one into there. Now the best thing to do is get it in position, get a little bit of glue on the end of your stick or your glue pen and put some on either side. Try and spread it around the peg and then twist the peg around a little bit to distribute the glue. Now although that looks a little bit messy, as the glue dries it shrinks into the hole um, and will create a good joint. Just make sure you leave it plenty long enough for the glue to completely dry. Okay, so at stage 11, you can already test that your shoulder pieces are working well by rocking part 26 backwards and forwards, and you can see it moving freely there. The next stage is to put it on the base so that that fork fits over the peg between the cams. Now again you can test how that movement is working. I can feel it's getting stuck just there so I'm going to move the stool forwards a little bit and then it's moving freely again. So you just need to experiment with the positioning of your stool. Just move it backwards and forwards, turn the handle until you can see part number 26 moving freely. So bear in mind that that positioning is something you have got to gauge. We won't commit to glue at this stage because we're now going to put the arms on, which is stage 15, and we'll come back to stage 12 once we've got the arms on. Okay, we're ready to fix the arms together on uh, stage 15. Now, obviously you've got a left hand and a right hand and a left arm and a right arm, um, and it's easy to get these muddled. So I'm calling this the left hand side of the body, and I've got my left hand, lower arm and upper arm marked with a little L. Um, so they're all marked with an L so that I know that that uh, is all going to go on one side. So that's a, that's a handy thing to do. So we'll start off by gluing the forearms to the backs of the hands. And then the upper arms will go onto the shoulders. They are slightly angled downwards, so make sure you get that angle right. Now we need to do this whole stage um, before the glue is completely dry because you might need to adjust the angles a little bit as you go to make sure that the hands come together in a proper clap. So it's a little bit of a fiddle, um, just take it slowly and don't be worried about maybe having to do it more than once. So I can see that the angle, I'm trying to get the hand reasonably vertical so that when the other hand comes towards it, they will come together I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds to make sure that the glue has started to set. Okay.
think I've got them roughly positioned so I can experiment with bringing them together and I can see that they're not quite vertical enough so I can just turn those hands up a little bit higher and hold them still for a little bit. So it takes a little bit of uh, time and patience to make sure you've got all the angles right and sometimes you just have to sit there and just hold it for a few minutes. Um, but I think I've pretty much got this right. Now remember we haven't glued the stool down so we can again experiment with the positioning and I can see that I've got the angles pretty pretty much in the right place there so that the hands come together in a good clap. So I think I've got the arms in the right position and I think I've got the stool in the right position. So we're ready to move on. Okay, we're ready for the final assembly now. Uh, we're happy with the position of the arms and the stool. That all seems to be working well. So before we glue the stool down, we can just mark uh, the back of it with a pencil so that when we've got the glue on we know what position it needs to be in. So that fork needs to be placed over the peg between the cams and down onto the pencil marks. I can just test it again, make sure that's all in the right place. Great. Okay and then the legs can go on, a little bit of glue under the foot and under the thigh. You can play with the angle of the legs, they don't have to go perfectly straight. There we go, and finally the head. Okay, when you glue the head on, be careful that the glue only goes on this very outer edge at the top of his chest and that there isn't a risk of the glue squidging through onto these uh, moving parts inside because obviously that will stop them moving freely. So the head comes down over part number 26 onto that edge and leave to dry. Okay so when it's all done and working um, remember there's um, a little plinth here that you can put on the bottom and uh, you can print out any sort of message that you might like to uh, accompany your model. So uh, here are a couple here that I've decorated and personalised and made to um, commemorate a particular event. So this lady has graduated. Well done on your graduation. So she's got her mortarboard and her gown. And this man is uh, has won the Nonsense Awards. So he's got um, a particularly colourful jumper and trousers uh, and wire wool hair. So there are all sorts of ways that you can have lots of fun uh, with making these um, more personal, gives them as a gift to somebody to congratulate and celebrate a particular occasion and just let your imagination go and have fun.